many areas. But we want to be empowered and we want to be empowered to be creators for jobs. We don't want to be TSC employees. We want to get those tenders. We want women to have support. We want to compare with the woman of the central, like my Honorable Martha here. The women that are there who are very empowered. That is where the Mulembe woman wants to be. And as we are here, we need to chart a way forward and say that the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. And that step of unity is what we have here. And I hope that we will take this journey to the end of the journey, regardless of our political affiliations, but with an agenda of empowering the woman from Mulembe County. Thank you very much and God blessings. One minute, Peter Bliki, please. Our guest of honor is leaving. He has another function. So, kindly. Thank you so much, Mama Elsie. Your Excellency, the Prime Minister, all protocol observed, and women. Wamama Hoye! Wamama Hai! Wamajina Naitwa Mwishmiwa Naomi Mandela. Toka Viga County. Nashukuru walio anza ili kongamano kwa kunitambua na kutambua mama walemavu. Diposa nimepua na pasi kunena jambo moja kusu walemavu. Tunabijua jinsi jamii inadechukulia wamama ni kwamba wamama inafaa tuwe wafanya kazi. Sindio? Wamama inafaa tujenge jamii zetu. Wamama inafaa tuwe watu ambao wanaizaenda mtoni tuwe watu ambao wanaiza lima tuwe watu ambao wanaiza beba mtoto sindio na tunabejue ya kwamba mama mlemavu katika hali yake ya maumbile ana huo uwezo wa kupanya hayo yote kwa hivyo katika ajile shangamoto zote ambazo mama wanapitia mama mlemavu anazipitia zaidi niposa tunashukuru hili kongamano jimetulesa pamoja tutasikika tukiwa pamoja na wamama wenzetu ninaomba wamama tushike wamama walemavu mkono ili tutembee nao your excellency kama wamama walemavu sisi pia tumesoma na tunataka ya kwamba appointments ambazo ziko kwenye serikali kuu na hata serikali za county Wamama wa ndemavu pia tunaweza ama sivyo wale ambao tumesoma tupoe hizo nafasi na niombi langu ya kwamba kwenye hili kongamano wakati wa kufanya mikakati ya kuweka structures in place pia tusisahau mama mlemavu na shukuru kwa kunisikiza mbarikiwe asanteni Hello Halo, halo. Unajua sisi tuko na nyinyi siku the whole day mundo. Lakini viongozi wetu wanaomba waende alafu watatubaki sisi wa mama, si ndio? Tusikie sauti yao. Tunaanza na mheshimiwa Elachi. DJ Your Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Minister, our Deputy Party Leader, Honorable Upanya, all protocols observed. Sisi kama kina mama wa Western Province, kwanza tunashukuru mwenyezi mungu, tunasema sante kwa kongamano hii ambayo tunajua ni kongamano ya kusaidia wa mama wa Western haswa wajue ya kwamba tunataka 
kuwa economically empowered kwa hivyo tumekuja kwa heshima tukijua tunaungana sisi wote kuongea kitu moja na lengo moja kwamba tunataka tusaidie ili mama wa western aweze kuamuka awe mwanasiasa awe engineer awe daktari awe lawyer aweze kufanya kazi yake inavyowezekana kwa hivyo mimi ningewaomba sisi viongozi nikimalizia tukumbuke ya kwamba ni vyema sana hawa wakina mama wawe wakienda nyumbani na hilo lengo waweze kujua ni vipi tunapoenda kwa chapters tutafanya kazi yetu ya mwisho mimi nataka kuwaomba wa mama wa Western chini shukuma la anga ile kitu inatumaliza imbadoka mnumia kwa balazi na kwa balazi na mnumia wataza tunasema kama kina mama tutapenani tuwache futina ndogo ndogo tutaenda mbali na mimi na waombea heri na waombea baraka na sisi kule Nairobi tunasemanga tuko gangari na hatutushwangwe na sisi ndio kina mama tunazungumza kule mbarikiwe sana Asante sana na sasa tusikie sauti ya vihiga mheshimiwa dadala karibu Alo samahani alisikia vihiga hakujua tumeita mama Siwa kwa ubaya mama ataka la karibu
We want to know the Kenya of today, where is our star? Where do we belong? We have several professionals here. If I can tell all the professionals to stand, you are excellent in Salyam Dabadi, the women have papers here. Can all professionals stand? All professionals. anybody from anywhere. We are self-contained in here. These women can be governors. These women can be vice presidents. These women can be a president. These women can be a president. Yes, we are all here. We are all here. As this working a mama of Koma Garibi, to Nataka Heshma, this working a mama of Koma Garibi, Omeona Mama Apa, she's an engineer and having her own company. And this is what we want to encourage among women. We want to encourage women to have companies. And the deputy governors who are here, and uh, we are happy to have our first lady, Mrs. Baraza, she's here with us. We have not come here with the mediocre intentions. We have our deputy governor from Bungoma. She's here with us. We had a deputy governor woman. She's here with us. So in this place, we need respect as women of Mende. We need re respect. My mama of Mende, Sadami Amenzako, Mwambiendo Sababu Yara in right. And it is here. It is here. Bas, bas, Tosha Sasa. Simmesalamiana. It is true here. We are going to declare what we want for the region and what we want for Kenya 2032. The women are going to lead from the front. There is nobody who is going to intimidate us. Whether you come in which place, whether you come in which manner, we are a strong nation. We are a strong brigade. We are going to lead by force, by fire. Thank you very much. I want to thank you, the team that is behind this. Our counties.
be ready. We are going to move from county to county, county to county. Our Chigai is here. Chigai is here with us. He's going to tell the president arrangements are going to be made, to be made for every county chapter. Our Majority. Baba Yet. Kijana Yet. Kijana Yet. You are on top there with the Manueta leaders. Go and tell the president the women of Western Mleba region are all saying, consider them for the CAS, CAS jobs that are coming. Consider them on all those that are being given out. Consider all these women. Mama Wakungoma, Mama Wakatamega. And then Mushike was there. Nini najua mnajua ile kifunguru tafinya. Hawa mama wapewe papers kwa counties zote. Mama. Mama Ruth. Mama Ruth, Professor Ruth. Si mama uko hapa. Umetoka wewe ni waziri katika county ya Vihiga. Enda ambia governor atupendelezi wa mama wapewe kazi. Nani ametoka Busia? Mimi. Mtu wa Busia? Muende kwambia gawa na Busia. Atubebelezi wakina mama tunataka kazi kwa hiyo county. Si namna hiyo? Mko chelea kina mama. Brigade kuu. Jeshi lenyewe. Mungu atubariki. Na waombea mtende nyumbani mufike vizuri. Mambo ya agenda mambo ingine yote tutaongea na nyinyi. Mungu awabariki. Amen. 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 Asante sana. Asante umechemsha wa mama kabisa. Na sasa nachukua fursa hii kuita mama Deputy Governor wa Bungoma Pastor Bashiani. Asante. Um, Mgeni wetu wa heshima our prime secretary Mheshimiwa Msalim Dabadi all protocol observed. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Asifiwe tena. Mimi ninaitwa Pastor Jenny Pambatiani naitwa gavana wa jimbo la Bungoma. Ninasimama hapa kama kiongozi mmoja ya wale ambao natoka Western. Maana Bungoma iko katikati ya Western. Nataka nishukuru the committee wale ambao walipanga kikao hiki. Nataka niseme asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. We have come here as women and we have an agenda. We are here as women and as women our tribe is women. Our political party is women. We don't want our focus. We are here as women. We are here kuhakikisha ya kwamba our agenda inakuwa achieved. And what is the agenda? To unleash our potential. We want to unleash the potential of women. And I'm happy that every woman in this house has a potential. Can you clap for your side? It is only the opportunity that we have not been given that every woman has a potential. What I want to tell all of us today Please unleash that potential. And for you to unleash, you don't wait for anyone to come and pull you. Just arise and shine. It's a shine as a woman of Western. One thing that we keep on asking ourselves, we keep on lamenting that as women of Western, 
tunaendelea kubaki nyuma that is the confrontation why is it that we continue remaining behind that is the confrontation we should be having today sisi wa mama ambao Mungu ametuliku nafasi kuwa mbele are we holding the hands of those who are still down or are we are stepping on them because that is where the confrontation begins unless you hold the hand of that woman who is down there there is nothing we are talking about we have come here as women so that we can champion for our unity unity of purpose we want to ensure that we empower that small woman that mama mboga because that is the agenda of our president but we need to put money in the pockets of our women how are we going to do that by forming groups by partnering with partners and i'm here i'm happy to say that apsa is here with us and is here for us let us embrace partnership let us work hard and let us stop lamenting the time of lamenting is over women of western arise and shine around and shine eh? now we have our hello we want very little disruption because of time kindly now we have our mps our male mps tunampenda you are our husbands you are our brothers you are our sons and we are happy that you are here to support our cause this is our day but we shall give you each at least a minute to say a kitu tukianza na mheshimiwa ikana Asante mama Mlembe yume ni mlembe Mlembe handi Muko wazima Muko tayari kwenda mbele Asante mimi kwa majina naitwa Fred Ikana mbunge wa Shinyalo hapa mahali tuko ni kwa mpaka wa Shinyalo na Ikalomani. Na sio Shinyalo na Lurambi. Kwa hivyo nawakaribisha nyote, viongozi wetu, waziri mkuu karibu sana. Mimi sitataka mambo mengi kwa sababu tuko wengi na kila mtu lazima asalimiane kidogo wa wenzetu. Mimi nataka kuwahakishia kama mmoja wa wale ambao ni gender champions katika bunge la kitaifa nitahakikisha nimetembea pamoja na kina mama nihakikishe agenda ya kina mama imefikika na hivi sasa Mwenyezi Mungu akatusaidia kupitia kwa waziri mkuu Musalia Mudabadi pamoja na spika wetu wa Senate Moses Wetangula akatunganisha pamoja na Sawile Muruto sasa tuko kwa serikali na kama tuko kwa serikali lazima tuwakutishe tunaombea watu wetu nafasi katika serikali hiyo. Kwa hivyo mheshimiwa waziri mkuu mimi naunga mkono lile jambo na swala la kwamba hao wakina mama lazima wapate nafasi ya uteuzi katika serikali yetu na sisi tawaunga mkono tuhakishe pia wame succeed. Alafu hata kama tunataka kuunga kutengeneza nafasi za kazi katika serikali Akina mama ni nguzo ya kijamii. Na kina mama ni watu wanapenda amani. Hawawezi wakaishi katika mazingara ama environment ambayo iko na vita, iko na vurugu, iko na mvutano. Ndio kosa naomba viongozi wote wa milango yote ya kisiasa tuungane pamoja, tuache mambo ya maandamano, tuache mambo ya vurugu, tuache mambo ya kutikanana. 
Aleluya. Ebo wose. Niseme nisiseme. Wangapo nataka amani Kenya? Wewe unataka amani Kenya? Kwa hivyo usitusonge mbele. Tuunge serikali iliyoko mkono, si ndio? Wakati mwingine ukifika 2027, tena taangalia tuone namna gani, si ndio? Lakini kwa sasa tu kwa serikali ya William Ruto pamoja na Musalia na Weta. Mungu awabariki. Asante sana. Mheshimiwa Mlamba kutoka Busia. Karibu. Mama hai. Mama hai. Eh, Prime Cabinet Secretary viongozi wote ambao wako hapa na wasalimu wa mjambo. Kwa majina naitwa eh, Geoffrey Mlanya, mbunge wa namba 4 kutoka huko Busia. Busia timu ya bibi simame kidogo. Aya asante. Naona organize naona Busia tu kwa well represented lakini tutaongea nao Busia wiki wa mama wa nguvu wengi tukuje kwa hii focus yetu ya mlembe women focus ndio na niko na furaha sana leo mimi kama pastor MP kuona kwamba wa mama wa western wanaweza kuja ungana pamoja kwa malengo ya kujenga watu wetu ndio na leo mimi tuko hapa Prime Cabinet Secretary na tuko na eh, Cabinet Advisor wa President upande wa Women Affairs. Tunataka tu empower hawa mama wetu. Mimi kama mchumba huko, tuko na wamama vikundi huko mingi. Mama wa Western ni mtu wa bidii. Ile kitu inakosa ni support ambayo tutaona tumeona leo tutatembea tuone tunafanya namna gani. So kwa hiyo vile Kana amesema sisi tuungane pamoja viongozi wetu kujaribu kuona tumeenea uchumi wetu. Wa Kenya tunaumia sana. Kila mtu Kenya anaumia lakini tuungane sisi wote. Hii ni hali ambayo iko ni global eh, ni kitu ambayo imefanyika dunia mzima. Na sasa tukiwa hapa tuko na kiongozi wetu ambaye ni Prime Cabinet Secretary tujaribu kutembea na yeye eh, tuone kwamba tunafika wapi huko mbele. Tupoe eh, nguvu na atumetoa matunda kutoka kwa serikali. Asante sana. Asante sana. Sasa tunataka kusikia sauti ya malava. Honorable Mwalimu Ngozi. Basi. Kwa mama hai moja wetu umoja wetu asanteni mimi nikatenda kuchukua nafasi hii kusema ni asante kwa his excellent prime cabinet secretary msalia na wageni wengine wote asanteni kuhudhuria huu mkutano wa wamama mimi ningependa kusema tu neno moja your clarion call Yuwa moto ni kwamba umoja wetu nguvu yetu. Nyinyi wenyewe mmesema ya kwamba mkiangalia Western mama wa Western ndio wangali nyuma maendeleo kibiashara kiuchumi. Si hivyo? Wakati umefika nyinyi wa mama wakati mwingine wa mama nyinyi huona mbele kuliko wazee sisi wanaume nyinyi mmeshaona mbele mmeungana mmeanza kutembea pamoja kuonyesha kuwa umoja wenu nguvu yetu geni sisi wanaume sijui nani ameroka sisi kila wakati hakuna kuungana na malumbano wakati wamefika wa mama nyinyi Tendea pamoja tuungane na mwambie hao wanaume ambao kila wakati wanaweka kifua mbele kutifika ya kuwa usipoungana 
tutaendelea kuumia haswa sisi watu wa western mkitaka ile serikali mmesema iwapatiwe maendeleo kitu ya kwanza sisi watu wa western tutoe sauti moja sauti hiyo moja ya kisiasa ukipata politics political kingdom mambo mengine yote inafuata kama wakati huu kura tulimaliza yule ambaye amechukua nafasi ya president sio mwingine ila ni Ruto yule ambaye ni naibu wake sio mwingine ila ni Rigadi unapoangalia maana umeketi prime cabinet sector sio mwingine ni Musa Sari Uangalia wapi? Uangalia wapi speaker wetu? Ni kijana anaitwa Peter Wetangula. Wewe ningependa kuambia Usikubali wewe mama vile hali ilivyo wakati huu Kenya hii. Usikubali mtu kuambia mambo mengine wakati huu tuko kufanya ka Wewe watu wa Rift Valley walipoona wakati huo mtu ambaye alikuwa anakaribia serikali na kuinyakua ni William Ruto wote waliamua wakasimama nyuma ya Ruto ya Ruto Ningependa kuambia Central Kenya Central Kenya Haya 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 Hata haya 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 Watu watu wa Central Kenya Watu wa Central Kenya walipoona yule ambaye kwa karibu kwa nafasi ni uhuru Kwa hivyo kwa wakati huu naomba kijana wangu kama na wafanya
Rico, 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 Kwa shimu, kwa shimu awa excellence, na wale wenye wamekaa hapa. 
Wanama kikisahau mahali tumetoka Alo Alo Wanama kinyambazo tusikiza the next speaker Na sisi tumesema Hii haiku kwa mkutano wa kisiasa Hapa tuko na watu wa kumia na watu wa kenya kwanza Lakini sisi tumeungana kama wa mamu Hatitaki wa naume kutuaribia Tumemuaribu Halo Tutaendelea na wanaume lakini hatitaki siyasa Tumemuaribu Kwa hivyo Tumachukua kusahi Huita SG Sifuna Karibu Mumezungumzia hapa juu ya maendeleo ya kina mama Na mimi na jivunia sana kwamba mumetualika tuweze kushiriki Sisi kama viongozi haya mazungumzo Ili tuweze kujua ni wapi tuneza kushirikiana Sumekweli Na jivunia sana kwa sababu sisi Ambao tulikuwa katika mrengo wa azimio Ndiyo tulikuwa wakwanza kupea mama na fasi ya kukua na kuwa rais Pangu Inzihi yazi Na yuko hapa mama mata karua mpige makofu kamani Mimi nataka kuwaidi kina mama wa Kenya Mimi nataka kuwaidi kina mama wa Kenya Katika haya maisha yetu Tutaona mama wa Kenya na ea akiwa rais wa inchi hii Tutaona mama wa Kenya akiwa rais wa inchi hii Nataka kushukuru pia Ya kwamba tulipo pata na pasi chache Za kupatia kina mama na pasi ndani ya bunge Mwishimio karanya yuko hapa Tulipatia seneta moja kutoka kakamega Mwishimio mwingine tukapea na pasi kutoka kile vihiga Anaitua kristo la sige Kwa hivyo jambo mbalo tuko hapa kupanya Ni kukumbushana tu kwa sababu Nimeona rafiki yangu hapa hari ya tishigai Tulikuwa katika Law Society of Kenya Council Na kwa sababu wenjo nasimamia mambo ya kina mama Pumoja na mwishumo msali ya mdavadi Tafadali hawa kina mama wanaumia Kwa sasa Kwa sababu ukitaka kujenga mama unajenga mpoto wake Sindio? Watoto watu wengi mwishumia Hawajaenda shule Magazeti na mwishumia ambili hawajaenda pomuani Kwa sababu ya mambo ya karo Tunaomba kwamba serikali ya angalia vile itafani Kwa kina mama mzikuwa kaisha umewakalia Wameshindo kukua chakule ya watoto wao Tafakali muangalio vile wao mwaneza kukula Zambo la wisho Ahadi ya mazo mulitua kwa kina mama Muliwambi Nusu ya kabinet ya serikali Imefika nusu kina mama 
imefika nusu bado mnataka ama mnoacha mtoe haki yenu ama mtaki asanteni sana Mungu awabariki kwa pamoja asante sana na sasa tusikie sanaa wetu wale damu karibu Hebu hebu tusalimiane tena kwa hewa bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Mimi nataka munipe dakika moja. Tafadhali tuache vuvuzela. Nipe tu dakika moja. Hii conference ambaye mko leo mimi kwanza nataka kuwashukuru wale ambaye naona hapa kama ni planning committee wakati mahajia mwaka uliopita nilikuwa na conference ambaye niliita na hata nikiketi pale nikasema hii conference jina yake badilishwe badala iitwe Western Women Conference iitwe Man Made Problems Women Made Solutions Nini kama kina mama mimi singekuwa hapa isipokuwa ninyeke na mama. Nyinyi ndio mlinibeba kwa tumbo miezi tisa mkanilea nikafika hapa na ndio ipasa sasa nikisimama hapa ninajivunia kusema kwamba mimi ni senator ambaye anajali maslahi ya watu wote. Kitu ya muhimu ni kwamba tukiketi hapa kuzungumza maneno ya siasa tutapoteza mwelekeo ile ambayo iliwaleta hapa. Namshukuru huyu mama ambaye amezungumzia hapa. Huyu mama mimi simjui lakini amezungumza mambo ambaye ni ya maana sana. Katika serikali zote kuna zile institutions ambazo zimetengwa ambaye ziko na hela nyingi tu za kusaidia kina mama. Lakini wa mama wa Western huwa wapati nafasi ya kupata hizo hela. Mimi huwa nasikia uchungu sana. Kwa sababu hata kwangu sasa hizi Nairobi niko na mama ambaye ametoka Western ambaye ananifanyia kazi. I feel very painful when I go around Kilimani. Na ninaona wa mama wa Western karibu 20 wamepanga laini wanangoja wachukuliwa na mtu waenda wafanyie kazi. That will be useless. Na wacha niwaambie I am so happy ya kwamba mmesema mnataka kukuja pamoja so that you chart your way into the future. Let me tell you. Nafasi wakati ya kudanganywa imeisha. As a Kenyan, as a, as a woman You have a right to achieve the highest level that any human being can achieve. Your economic empowerment is the most important thing. Mimi nilikandisha mama 1700 sasa wote tunawajengea vitu zinaitwa milk collection centers ndio tuweze kununua maziwa twende tuuze wapate karo ya kulipewa watoto wao ndugu yangu sifuna amezungumza hapa amesema kitu ya maana sana we are missing the point we are missing the point because we are clouded by false promises ambazo will not take us far it is time for you to see action is institution zote apsa ikikuja kufanya kazi hapa uliza What do you have for me as a woman? Sisi wana siasa tukikuja hapa it is not just about blasting and giving empty promises. What is in it for me? Nikimalizia nataka ukumbuke hivi. No one else no one else will determine your future unless you take the first step and say enough is enough. 
ukiona tukizunguka ni uchungu as politicians every single day i get text messages ni mama ananitumia kuniambia ninaumia mkitoka hapa juliseni are we going in the right direction or we are losing the direction and you demand answers that is the only way you will achieve progress mungu awabariki sana asante sana naona tunaendelea vizuri si ndio tunasema tutaki siasa kwa hivyo tunakaribisha seneta wa Vihiga Osoti karibu kabisa dakika mbili Aya. Wa mama wa magharibi Murembe. Hebu tusalamiane kwa hewa. Aya. Mimi ni Godfrey Osofi, seneta wa Bulika. Na najua wa mama wangu wa nguvu wa Bulika wako hapa. Hebu salamia mimi. Aya. Kwanza ni shukurani kwa kamati ambayo imepanga hii. Hili ni jambo muhimu sana. Hii mada unleashing the potential of women. Mimi naiunga mkono. Na mimi naomba mshikilie hapo. Mtasikilia hapo? Kwa sababu sisi upande wa murengo wa Simeo tunaunga mkono mambo ya empowerment of women. That's why leo tumekuja na mama wetu mama mara karua leo as a sign that we respect women of western propongito na mimi ningependa mfanye kazi pamoja is a lot you can do on your own hatutaki tusije leo tumekuja hapa alafu baadaye mtu mwingine awapange awapeleke kwa nyumba nyingine huko Nairobi Muta kupani. Kwa hivyo remain focused because we represent diversity of different people. Number two, Sisi tunajua mama ndio anaumia wakati mambo yanaenda mbaya. Wa mama sasa hivi tuko na sita mingi. Bei ya vyakula inaenda juu. Mambo ya school fees. We have a crisis in the education sector. Mambo ya afya na mambo mengi ambayo wa mama wanapitia. We should continue discussing these issues without fear. And that is why as a Zimio coalition we are engaging the public to discuss this issue. And no one is going to intimidate us. We will discuss these issues to move forward the country of Kenya. Asante sana mungu wa bari. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Hello, hello? We wish to recognize because of time We have one of the MCS here and we recognize the leader of the minority that there is no much time unless he gives you permission because it's a, yeah we are asking you just to wave with the other MCS are there any other MCS present can you wave okay Sawa sawa. Because of time we, you are not able to be given the time. So I take this opportunity to call our CS Harriet Chigai. Karibu.
Kwa mama hoi. Mirembe vosi. Mirembe mzukana. Mirembe taifu. Leo nataka kwa shukuru kwa sababu mumetualika. Hii forum ilikuwa forum ya maendeleo ya kina mama. Sivyo? Ningeweza kuambia jambo moja. A country without a vision is a country that is about to perish. You are our mothers, you are our sisters, you have taken care of us. Why do we want to be used to burn that which we've worked so hard to build over time? Wamama, wakati, kuna maandamano, nani wanaumia? Watoto wetu. Wamama, wakati, kuna maandamano, uchumi nafanya na mnagani? Hakuna maendeleo, sivyo? Na hiyo ndio sababu tumeunganisha na tumefika mahali hapa leo. Mimi nilikuwa nimekuja kuwasikiza ili tuweze kutatua ni shida gani ambazo mnataka tutatue. Sivyo? Na ningependa muendeleze program namna hiyo. Kuna mambo matatu ambayo inaumiza nchi yetu saizi. We are calling them the triple threat. HIV and AIDS, teenage pregnancies, gender-based violence. Hayo mambo ya tatu ni inausisha wa mama sa? Sana. Hiyo ndo nilikuwa nafikiria tungea zungumuzia na kama wa mama tutatue shida hiyo. Kama wa nani? Wa mama. Mesia mwishmiwa Freddy Kana mesema yeye ni gender champion. Tuko na support pia kutoka kwa kina wanaume wetu hivyo sivyo Tumeweza kuona kuna mambo ya maendeleo ambayo serikali inapa inapanga Mimi naomba kama wa mama msipotee sivyo Wa mama mmekuwa strong for a very long time Mimi nawaomba kwa heshima zetu tubaki na hiyo heshima Mambo ya GBV county ya Narok very bad. Mambo ya GPV, jirani hapa. Very bad. Isn't it? Mambo ya teenage pregnancies, hapa kakamega. 60 to 40 percent. That is what I expect you as women to be talking about. Those three things alone is the reason as to why we don't have money in our pockets. Those three things alone Inafanya watoto wetu wawendi shule. A county that has 60% of its population as teenage girls who are pregnant. We have lost a whole generation. My ladies, with all the respect that you implore upon us to come here today, let us move with a structured conversation that is going to help we as women. That which brought you today here was not politics. At the bare minimum, that was my expectation. And with that, because of time and because our bosses are having another function. Women, this is your function. Take charge. With that respect, allow me to introduce our Prime Cabinet Secretary, His Excellency, Misalia.
I take this opportunity to welcome the First Lady of Kakamega. I have taken it upon myself to champion 
the reduction of team mothers in Kakamega County. I have, I have 60 team mother champions helping us to ensure we reduce the numbers of teen pregnancy in Kakamega. Na hawa 60, nilejukua jukumulangu, nihakikisha ni wakisha shule. Ili wangile na masemo yao, wala viongozo wati wa kesho. Tunelewana? So for me, a woman who is empowered will improve the society. Ngependa mnisaidie, your excellency, prime cabinet secretary. Sarekaliku insaidia mimi hapa kakamega ni punguze idadi ya teen mothers. And all of us here, please, let us ensure tunapunguza hii idadi ya teen mothers. Watoto wetu wasome, wapate elimu vizuri, wapate kazi huko mbele, mtayawe yao ya mazuri. On the other hand, tunajua kwamba GTV ito nyingi sana hapa kakamega county. Hawa ndugu zetu wanaume, wananyanyasa akina mama. Na mara nyingi, ni wale ambao wako karibu nao. The one relatives. Ningependa saidiane, GTV yende chini. Na akina mama ukinyanyasa, usinyamaze. Please, speak out. Ukinyanyasa, wangea. Lalamika. So that you are helped. So GTV in Kakameka County is high. But I'm hoping we are going to bring it down. Yo mama wetu, bawe huru, wafanya kazi yao. Tunataka tusaidia kina mama, bawe na kazi raisi. Tualete maji, karibu nao. Wafanya biyashara zao. And this, this should happen in Kagamega and everywhere else in the western region. So, kina mama, wanateseka sana. Kamega. And I'm the first lady. I've already told the governor. Governor, you know I'm a woman. And the women will not suffer as I keep quiet. So women in Kakamega, please count on me. And other women in other counties, please let us speak for our own folk. Let us speak for our fellow women. Do I raise the gender level? Mwisho. Akina mama, tunateseka na ugonja wa kansa. Nimeangu konge hii, kusabu last month was Kansa Awareness Month. Na akina mama, wanafirika na kansa. Akina mama, tafadhali, tujiangali. Tuende for screening. Hata hapa inje, kuna screening best. Tuende for screening, tupileke wadadu wetu wapate HPV vaccine, na ukipatakana mko nayo, si mwisho wa maisha. Enda utibiwe. So because a woman is the head of society, she has to be healthy, she has to be strong, she has to be financially stable for the community to go ahead. Na kusababu hiyo, ngependa kina mama wa Western Region wakue mbawad, wakue kwa serikali, at all levels. Na hui mama wachini, mama mboga, mama ukuosha mguo, mama ukwanya biashara, Apewe na fansi ya kujendeleza kiuchumi. Tumajua ya kwamba, tumajua ya kwamba, ukienda kwa dance floor. Kwa mfano kama tunge hodi na dance hapa, usi dance round. Hansi ukienda mbele. Unaweza kuata mtu wapo mbele mzura kusaidie. And therefore for us women, we are not going to dance around ourselves. We want to grab opportunities to help us move forward. Inasemekana kwamba, there is nothing stronger than a woman who is empowered, who is free, and who is educated. Pahayo machache, asante ni sana, na karibu ni sana kamega, Feel at home, feel at Mlembe. Thank you very much. Hello. Naendelea vizuri. Na chukua kusahi.
kumkaribisha au kama CS Eugene wa Malwa karibu Ina mama hai Mrembe Mli moyo Mwego ile conference ya mamai Mwego ile ana na venye Mwego ile mai mata tarua My big brother Mheshimiwa Msalia Mdavadi Prime Secretary My big sister Mheshimiwa Martha Karua First lady wa Kakamega mlamua wangu My sister Harriet Mheshimiwa wabunge walio hapo masenator wetu na ndugu yangu Paranya ambaye amekuwa gavana wa jimbo hili la Kakamega wa mama wote wageni wetu wote waliofika Hamdan Mimi ni mtoto wa mama mimi ni mtoto wa mama Mary na Liaka wa Malo. Na mimi nina furaha sana kuwa hapa nanyi wa mama wa Western wote kukutana kwa conference hii. Tumekuwa hapa Kisumu jana tumekuwa Kisi na leo tuna mkutano hapa Kisumu. Na kule tumekuwa na mama mwenzenu Martha Karua Mheshimiwa Steven Kalonzo Msoka, Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga, Mheshimiwa Kionia, Mheshimiwa Faranya. Na ndugu yetu Faranya, ndugu yetu Faranya akatukaribisha. Akaambia baba kabla hatujafanya mkutano wetu na sisi tumekuwa nafanya mikutano ya amani. Tungependa mama Martha Karua Afike kakamega hasa kwa dakika chache asalimu mama wenzake. Kina mama hai. Tulifanya makosa. Kuwaletea mama mwenzenu. Kuwaletea mama kiongozi shupavu. Kuwaletea mama ambaye angekuwa naibu wa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Mmemkaribisha. So leo ni siku yake tulitaka tumpe nafasi yeye awasalimu sababu mkutano wetu umeanza na niweze kupea mheshimiwa Oparanya awasalimu kidogo alafu atiletee mama lakini kabla Oparanya hajaja mimi kuna rafiki yangu siku moja alienda nyumbani Ali, akatoa shilingi elfu mbili elfu moja akapa mamaki elfu nyingine akapea mzee babaki Jioni ilipofika akarudi nyumbani akauliza mama mama mai hiyo elfu moja nilikupea umefanyia nini mama akasema kijana yangu hii ugali unakula nilienda nikanunua korokoro nikaziaga nikaleta ndio chakula tunakula hivi akauliza mzee baba Ele mnie huere. Ye elfu moja nilikupa ogole ile simu. Mzee akasema elfu moja nilipa kijana yangu. Pia mimi nilinunua gorogoro moja. Ya kusatu kunya na wazee rafiki zangu. Sasa nataka mjue ya kwamba ninyi kina mama. Ninyi ndio mnashikilia jamii ninyi ndio mnashikilia taifa and the nation is only as strong as its women i believe the mulembe nation is as strong as its women and i'm so glad to be here to meet the women of the mulembe nation na sisi kama viongozi tuataka tusaidie kina mama sababu peke yenu labda hamtafaulu lakini tukishikana na nyinyi mtafaulu Haswa viongozi walio hapa kuanza na magavana wetu all our five governors nataka nishukuru kwanza gavana wetu wa Tanzania yeye amechukua mama Philomena kuwa deputy wake bwana George natembea watu wa Tanzania
Nishukuru gavana wa Bungoma, ndugu yangu Ken Lusak. Yeye amechukua mama shupavu sana deputy huyo. And Jennifer, you spoke very well. I want to agree with Senator. If our other three governors also make sure that you kill an Omanaumi governor, to a Namanamke deputy governor. Hi, and your mambo, Sisi Tulitaka Kwenye BPI to Badilisha Sharia, so that when we have a male governor, we must have a female deputy governor. When we have a male president, we should have a female deputy president. This is how we start empowering our women. Kibi ndio tawezesha kina mama nini, mude juu pia, muanze kuchukua uongozi wa county Z. Mara ya kwanza, nikiwa waziri wa ugachuzi, tulikuwa na magavana wanawake watatu. Kwa kura hii, na shukuru wa Kenya, tumepacha kina mama karibu wa nani. But we would like to see the day when we have female governors hapa western, go for it kina mama. Go for it. Tunajua munaweza. Tuko pamoja. Na tuataka ugachuzi. Uimarike sababu pesa zikija hapa mashinani. Ni nini kina mama mutafaidiku. Kwa sheria tulipadili tukasema one third of every county assembly iwe kina mama. Ile imepaki ni bunge la kitaifa. And I can see our honorable members of parliament here. Please the one third gender rule. To attack her as our county assemblies have a third women, we would like to see a third of our national assembly being women. Tuka pamoja. So Mukirudi Nairobi mukumbuke mama wa Western na mama wa Kenya to empower our women by putting them in positions of leadership. Na pia tungependa kina mama, tumba ya mama haina ukabila. Wewe mama ukiwa mukikuyu, unazaa mukikuyu. Muluya, unazaa muluya. Mujalua, unazaa mujalua. Tumba ya mama ina ukabila kweli. Tuataka pia mtu saidie tupigane na ukabila. Sababu nimejua western hapa, kuna wale wanaleta mabadiliko ambayo itagawanya jamii zetu za western. We know that there's a proposed amendment of the constitution ili wapasue county ya Bungoma, wapasue county ya Tranzoya, na county ya Busia. Pita tengenesh, ipatenganisha waluya na wateso hapa Busia. Si wateso tumewana tuko kitu moja. Itatenganisha waluya na wasabawot hapa Bungoma na Tranzoya. Hatutaki siyasa itakayotenganisha kwa misingi ya kikabila. Na nini kina mama njo mnueza mkatuunganisha by saying no to politics of division so that we unite our counties. Kama tume, tunashida kuweza kupeana pesa kwa county Z47. Haya lakta hamuna habari, lakini as the last minister for devolution, I can tell you this. Tangu makajana, October, hakuna county imepata pesa kutoka national government. Na governors wetu wako hapo. Tuataka tuseme, if we are struggling to sustain 47 counties, kama 47 metushinda, hamusina mbili metuweza jamani, tuataka pesa ziongezeke, badali ya kuongeza counties, kina mama waweze kupata shia yao na maendele yao. Tuka pamoja. Tuataka tuseme kuliko hapo, nataka ndugu yango paranya, ambaye lukua one of the best performing governors, aji ya weze kusema nani. Asante sana. Wa mama oye! Wa mama mwende oye! Mwende! Mwanza, nataka ni mkaribishe hapa kakamkiga. Wale ambao metoka inje ya county, hapa ndiyo nyumbaki, mahali limekua kabana miaka kumi. Wakati nilipata simu kutoka kwa mama Beatriz Elach, akasema tutakuwa na mkutano wa mama hapa. Na angetaka nije hapa, kama gavana niliokuwa wa salimu nikasema nitacharibu bahati mzuri nikapata mama madha karua nilikuwa na yeye na pia nikamuomba 
tuungane na yeye tuje hapa tumsalimu Tumefanya makosa Mimi wakati nilikuwa gavana hapa I tried as much as possible to empower the women Na nimeona wengi wao pato wako hapa Katika cabinet yangu wakati huo nilikuwa na wamama watano ambao walikuwa wanashika wizara zile kubwa kubwa za kaunti wa kwanza alikuwa huyu mama ambaye alikuwa wa kaunti wa afya tuna mama Penina Mukavane Pahapo Alikuwa waziri wakaundu wa kilimo Wakatu huo Pia wakatu huo pia yeye ni waziri Kwa hukari ya barasa Tuna mama anaitu wa Rachel Kumu Alikuwa waziri wakaundi wa wizara ya public service and administrator nilikuwa na mama anaitwa Kibai alikuwa anatoka kule kule Lukuyani alikuwa waziri wa kaunti wa elimu na county secretary wangu ambao alikuwa miaka tano alikuwa Petri Sabana kwa hiyo miaka tano so hao wa mama kwa sababu I empowered them walifanya kazi mzuri sana ile kazi ambao mnaona katika Kakamega County ni hao wa mama ambao nimetaja kwa hivyo you women you have a potential and it is up to you to tap into that potential ni vizuri vile mmekuja hivi Mukiendelea hivi na msuweke siyasa Mukiweka siyasa asha urieni Wana siyasa unajua na kuja hapa Wana mutumia Wakipita kula yao Omeenda Mampisha So njini wenyewe Mukae katika kaunti zenu Musaidiane na zile sirikali ambazo ziko na nyingi ya serikali ambazo ziko hapa western na saasimio ukiangalia busia kakameka hapa transoia na viga muungane nao na hao gaba na asipia muwasukume wakayana kazi kwa wamao na hiyo ndi utakua kazi mzuri bana prai kakine sekitari na kushukuru wewe kuwa mgeni wa ishima siku ya leo Hata sisi wakati nilitoka huko nilikuwa na baba Na baba kaneta salamu zake Mmezipokea Mmezipokea Lakini nilisema Nilisema sitaki kuja hapa Na maza karua na nilete tu salamu za mdomo kuwe Baba amenipa kidikidogo Nitapeana Nitapeana Mama Elf Mohanda Mama Elf Mohanda Mama Elf Mohanda Hiyo Hijatoka kwa uparanya Imejoka kwa ba Imejoka kwa ba Ba Na kekua na nafazi
kwenda mahali baba yuko amefikia mko hapa na mko na furaha na nyinyi wote mko pale mko na ye mko na ye Mwana wale wako na yeye. Sasa. 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 Nataka nichukue nafasi hii. Nataka nichukue nafasi hii nimkaribishe mama Martha Karua. msali ya mudabadi ndugu zangu ambao nimekuja nao sisi zangu hapa eh, na mama Nyangala na wale wote wako na madepu gavana na wamama wote wamama tuko hapa we are here to get to stand in solidarity with you in your empowerment united by only one thing that the invitees other than the special guests are all women kwa nyumba zetu unakuwa mko watu kumi na kila mtu wako na dini yake jumapili unakuta dini ni kama saba kwa nyumba moja ampigani sababu ya dini unaweza kuta watu wako kwa vyama vingi lakini wakati wa harusi na masishi atupigani kwa sababu ya siasa tukija pamoja kama wamama tusipigane kwa sababu ya siasa tuwe we must have unity in diversity tunaelewa atufikiri zote pamoja lakini iko ile mambo imetushikanisha mambo inahusu kila mama awe wa chama gani awe wa kanisa gani and that is the purpose of today's meeting i want to plead that whenever we meet as women let us refuse to be goaded into divisions either of politics of clan or of any other tukikosa umoja hatutatopoa ile safari tunaenda kama wamama na tuelewe pia Kenya is a multi-party democracy. Haiwezekani zote tuwe ni wachama moja au mlengo moja. Therefore when we meet in public places, we must respect one another. I have worked with my brother Musalia for a very long time. Na ni rafiki. Today we are on different sides of the political divide. He doesn't become my enemy because of that. He remains my brother. So, wa mama, tusisahau sababu ya kuja hapa na tukubali roho zetu zichemke. Tusahau ni nini zituleta hapa. Mlikuja kama marafiki mwende nyumbani kama nani? Mimi nataka kusema machache tu. An empowered woman is empowered socially, economically and politically. You are seeking economic empowerment, but you need social empowerment too. That is why we are talking about teenage pregnancies. Tukiwacha watoto wetu kuanza kuolewa wakiwa wadogo, sisi tumekuwa wamama wamekomaa ni nani atakuwa mama wa kesho so we have to look at after our social issues we look at our economic we look at our politics tukitoka hapa kitu tuko na chama yake kwa chama yako uliza kama kuota ya wamama imetimizwa 
kwa grupu yako au kazini kwako uliza kama kuota ya wamama imefanywa nini imesimizwa hakuna vita ni kuongea tu yale mambo inatuhusu na to respect diversity in politics yuji uh, na mesema tunaenda mkutano mambo ya siasa tu mnyingi za kuongea i will go and talk hard na najua mtasikia m- I do not have to struggle to bring my Indian politics here in order to bring disagreement among the women present. The journey for women's empowerment is a tough journey and unless if we work together we shall never get there. Hata kupata ile iko kwa katiba leo ile inatupatia governors deputy governors women rep tuliifanya tukiwa wa mama wa vyama vyote tukiwa wa mama wa dini zote na tukiungana na wanaume who are gender sensitive so let us continue with unity in diversity ukiangalia hata marida yetu haijashonwa in the same style because we have diverse minds So let us accept diversity as a way of life. Kila mtu akae kwa nyumba yake. Kama ni siasa kaa pande yako nikae yangu tuheshimiane. Okay. Lakini hakuna siku tutarudi chama moja. Tulitoa jasho cha sana. Kutoa nchi hii kwa chama kimoja. So let us be united in our diversity not in same fellow women and the men who are supporting us this should be a very happy occasion where we hug and smile at each other and i want to urge you mukimaliza mumalize mukiwa na upendo na furaha vile mulianza hiyo kidogo ya kupereka msahau tuendelee in unity as women of kenya even as kenyans united in diversity lakini unity sio kusema unity sio kusema unipinye nikose kukuambia lazima niseme umenifanyia nini na nijaribu kusema hivyo kwa heshima pina mengi zaidi ya hapo leo na watakia kila laheri Mungu awabariki na tuendelee asanteni Hello Mama Mata thank you for your wisdom Tutaendelea tukiwa pamoja Shukrani kwa hiyo Babolanga 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 akubeshi Mole Tukiwa kitu kimo Shetani asingie Na na saa hii nachukua fursa hii Ukarudisha mgeni wetu wa heshima mwenye imekuja siku ya leo Mheshimiwa Msalia Mutaradi
dakika kumi hivi kwa sababu mmetoka mbali na mpate nafasi ya kumaliza resolutions na mkunge kwamba mambo leno sivyo lakini kwa heshima zote nataka nimtambue mke wa gavana wetu wa Kakamega nimtambue deputy governor wa Bungoma ni watambui wa heshima wote wetu wa bunge hasa kwanza wa mama kutoka Bihiga, Kakamega, Bungoma, wajumbe ambao kwa hapa basi yanaandamana nao, MCA na hata vice chancellor wa chuo hiki cha Must na pia Harriet Gai na kamati ambayo imetupangia siku ya leo. Mirembe Amjambo Busia huwe Katamega huwe Bogoma huwe Gani mebaki? Tanzawa huwe Mimika huwe Wamama wote wa Kenya huyu Asante sana. Sasa kwanza na wapongeza kwa mwaliko wenu na kwa fikira zenu za kuhakikisha kwamba tumekutana siku ya leo. Na kabla sijasema lolote nimesikiza sana hotuba zenu wale wamenena kidogo 
Nimemsikiza mke wa gavana. Nimesikiza wale wa tena. Na ningependa Sylvia Barasa arudi hapa na watoto wake. Ameenda. Ameenda. Child. 
at 15. How old is your son? The, the other one there. The, this one is 13. His name is Brian. Brian is 13. He got, he got Brian, this is the first one. He was 12. 12 years. And this one? Huh? At faith, faith. She's 11 years. She was 14. And the last one? El, Elvis, 9 years. She was then 15. Is there a bigger statement that you can make out of this women conference? This is a very, very serious statement, not just to Western Kenya, but to Kenya as a whole. Please be seated, and I hope now we will know that this is a bigger crisis than we imagined. I want to assure the ladies of Western Kenya that we have challenges which we have touched on, poverty, disease, insecurity, lack of jobs, turmoil in our families, gender-based violence, FGMs, these are messages that we must articulate and move on. So, when your committee asked me to come, for a moment we had postponed or requested a postponement because I was coming with my colleague, the Speaker of the National Assembly, and he had to travel to Algiers. So we were requesting. But after reflection and after listening to the appeal, we realized that we must show solidarity with you. And Moses Masiko Tangula has sent me here with his apologies, but he said we cannot hold our women back when we want to gather and plan for themselves. So we are here to show solidarity with you, now and tomorrow. The second thing that I just want to talk about is that this HIV, you know Kenya had re reached a level where in the world we were being ranked in the African continent as one that had done very well in fighting against HIV and AIDS, the pain against it. Tumerudi and unfortunately, unfortunately, my dear sisters, unfortunately, the crisis of HIV AIDS is capturing the age group of about 15 to 30. That is where it has come back. That means your sons and your daughters are the most vulnerable on this thing, the start of HIV AIDS. So we must take it upon ourselves to start campaigning again to send a very strong message because people Seem to have forgotten. On a job Jana, Sasa, Okizumuza Ivo, on a Sema, they don't even care. Oigo, Sisi Kama, the custodians of morality, the custodians of morality, women, these are the custodians of morality. It is now our responsibility for us to re-energize the of preaching good morals to our young men and women. There is a crisis.
I am speaking here because this crisis does not know any political party. It does not know tribe. So I have come to appeal to you very seriously. My dear sisters, I want to also disclose to you I want to disclose to you that Kenya is sitting in a very bad situation economically. And uh, one thing she told me is that speak the truth when it has to be spoken. Uchumi wetu uko kwa hali mbaya. Na kujafika hapo kwa sababu ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Serikali ya Kenya kwanza hata haijawasilisha budget yake ya kwanza kwa bunge. The truth must be told. I sit in cabinet. I'm the current cabinet secretary. The president is Ruto. I want you to know that the government of Kenya Kwanza has not presented any budget to parliament. The budget that is there is from the previous government. And I want you to know to me what you are my Na mimi nilikuwa nikisema hivi nikiwa kwa campaign nikisema mimi kama yule amesimamia uchumi katika Kenya hii serikali iliyoondoka inatuweka kwa hali ya hatari nikasema nikaimba nikasema nikaimba watu wakafikiri ni mchezo Now we are in a serious crisis But we have to get out of the crisis. And to get out of the crisis is now for us to close ranks and hold each other's hands and focus so that we move forward and now remove the country from the crisis. Kama kuna shida vile wametaja ya elimu kwa sababu ya mfumo wa CBC sio serikali ya Kenya kwanza ambayo imeingiza mfumo wa CBC tumeipata pale lakini sasa ni jukumu letu kurekebisha pahali ambapo kuna shida ili tukienda mbele elimu iwe na kuu kwa wakenya wote So we have to work together. Whether you are from Azimio, whether you are from Kenya Kwanza, now we are together. Kweli ya maongo? Kweli ya maongo? Kweli. Kwa hiyo lazima tushikane, tuanze kujenga na tujitoe kwa shimo lile sisi wote. So my dear sisters, I speak to you again. It is also your destiny. It is also your destiny. Our brothers and sisters have come here, they have spoken, they have gone. No problem. But first and foremost, this event was for the women of Western Kenya.
Sina wao waige mfano wenu. Sina wao waitishe kongamano la kina mama sehemu zao na nyinyi muende kuona. So that we can talk to Kenyan women as a whole. Tunaelewana kabisa? Mimi najua kwamba the cost of living is very high. I have managed an economy. I know we have to fight to lower the prices of food, the prices of oil, the prices of all these other things we have to bring in. Nataka tu nikoe mfano mmoja. Wakati tumeingia kwa serikali tulipata kitu kingine wanaita fuel subsidy. Fuel subsidy. Yaani walikuwa wanasema wanatenga pesa kujaribu kuweka bei ya petroli chini. Kupitia fuel subsidy. My dear sisters, do you know how much the fuel subsidy was costing Kenya every month? 20 billion per month. Twenty billion per month. So we had to come in and stop the subsidy that was not benefiting other people. It was benefiting a few petroleum companies. So we had to stop it. So these are the tough decisions that we are going to make. We want to be able to stop that kind of wastage so that we can allocate more money to health. So that we can allocate more money to education. So that we can allocate more money to agriculture. Ndio kwa sababu tunachukua hizi decisions. So the women of western I want to assure you and reservedly that I will work with you I will work with you and we have to find the common solutions together and we should not allow anybody to divide us we can criticize each other That is allowed but we must not be divided. We must not be divided. Let us now move forward. The election is behind us. No matter what you wish or would have wished if an MCA has been elected that MCA is now in office if the governor is elected i'm from a different party the governor barasa here was elected on a different party whether i like it or not he is the governor sindario equally when the nation voted for the presidency it was done last year in august and those who had a problem went to the supreme court and the supreme court made a ruling and we are far now we must move forward because no matter no matter what we say the next election is in future are not backwards and this is how we need to live so that we can bring our people together and we can now develop the country 
and the constitution is very clear when the time comes you will have an opportunity at that time jambo lengine i want to make it clear also that the government of kenya is not introducing any change in boundary tunaelewana the government of kenya is not introducing any change in boundaries the constitution says boundaries can be reviewed after a 10 year period it is constitutional but the government of kenya has not brought any motion on the table to review the boundaries of counties those are petitions coming from private citizens or private members but not the government of kenya to reason sasa wacha nimalize nikisema hivi when i came i also realized that you had done a very good thing as women because mumejinima and you funded and raised your own money to get where we are now we are here but in appreciation and recognition of what you are doing and your commitment na mimi nimekuja na nimesema niko hapa na milioni mbili
Santelli Sanna a Santelli Sanna a Santelli Sanna sa katika tema mengine ni kuwashukuru tu na kuwapongeza kwa kwa mama lenu na kuwapatia heri ili nikiondoka nikienda upande mwingine na nyinyi mtakaki hapa mzungumze kama wa mama na sisi tutaenda lakini niwashukuru sana na Mungu awabariki